Hi everyone. Let's solve this question. Now this question is actually under the differentiation. As long as you see the equate uh, the function of the curve and also uh, the gradient function of tangent or equation of tangent, then you have to link this question with differentiation. Now to start off, I will um, normally start with uh, illustration of the curve. Okay, so in this case, I just draft a curve. Now, it doesn't matter whether the curve is correctly drafted or not. I just want to use this method, okay, to, um, to see what are the information in hand. Because if you follow my method, this way will help you to identify three important information. And out of these three, as long as we have the two information, then we can solve this question. So in this case, we do not have the gradient of tangent, but we do have the equation of the tangent, which is y equals to 2x minus 4p squared. And just nice. This is a gradient form. Therefore, from here, we know the gradient. The gradient of tangent is 2. Okay, the gradient of tangent is 2, therefore we can just write here mt equals to 2. Now, out of all the three, as long as we have any of the two, out of this three, any of the two, we do not know the point that passes through by the tangent, but doesn't matter. We have this, we have this two, it's just good enough. Now, what is the relationship between this, uh, the function of the curve and the gradient of tangent. We know that mt is always equivalent to dy by dx. And therefore, dy by dx, we know that it is 2. So let's differentiate the, uh, the curve. So under the dy dx, we will have 2x minus 4p, and that's equal to 2. And let's simplify it. We will have 2 factorize the 2 out. Okay, equivalent to 2, and we simplify both sides with 2. We will have x minus 2p equals to 1, therefore 1 equals to 1 plus 2p. Now, once we reach here, we can just substitute x value into our point, which initially we do not know what is that, 1 plus 2p. Now, that is the reason I, um, I like to put uh, I like to put this, I still do not know what is the y, yeah? So that, that is the, I, I like to um, illustrate this curve with the tangent because these three are considered the golden triangle. So once I have one, any one of the coordinates, I can just substitute into the function, either the function of the curve or function of the gradient, then we can solve the value of the variable. So in this case, let's substitute x equals to 1 plus 2p into the, uh, first equation let's label this as equation number one okay let's label this equation number one and the curve equation number two so from equation number one okay we know that y equivalent to whenever we see x we replace with one plus two p okay minus four p squared and expand it we will have two plus four p minus 4p squared. Okay, so now we have the y. The y is actually, okay, let's erase this part. Okay, we know the y. The y coordinates is 2 plus 4p minus 4p squared. And with this, we substitute into the uh, function of the cup. So put 1 plus 2p, 2 plus 4p minus 4p squared into the second equation. So whenever I see y, I replace with 2 plus 4p minus 4p squared. Whenever I see x, I will replace with the 1 plus 2p. So I will have, let's write out the framework of the, uh, the function of the curve first. So we have x squared minus 4p 
x plus 9, whereby the x is actually 1 plus 2p. Okay, so over here, let's expand. So we have 1 plus 4p plus 4p squared. Done expanding this bracket. And then the second one, let's open up this bracket. So we have minus 4p minus 8p and plus 9. Okay, all these equivalent to 2 plus 4p minus 4p squared. Now over here, let's simplify. Okay, we have plus 4p and minus 4p, we can cancel off. Okay, and um, next we simplify the rest. So number with number, 1 plus 9, we've got 10. And then plus 4p squared minus uh, 8p squared, sorry, over here is squared. So we will have minus 4p squared. That's equivalent to 2 plus 4p minus 4p squared. Now we have minus 4p squared on both sides, so we can just simplify the minus 4p squared on both sides. Okay, that means we will, whatever left behind is equivalent. So we have 2 plus 4p equals to 10, therefore 4p equivalent to 10 minus 2, which is 8. Therefore, p equals to 8 divided by 4, that is 2. So we just found the value of p. That's it. Thank you very much.